Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Chutwani once again from learn-admission.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can write your WebDriver script in async mode. Okay. So in the last lecture, we have already seen how to write the WebDriver, script, WebDriver IO script in sync mode. So if I show you this part, right, this is how we have written. So let me remove this comment part. So you can see this is completely in sync mode, right? But if you come, come back to the documentation part, you will see that this sync mode will be, I will say it will not be supported in future. So we have to go with async mode. Okay. As you can see, WebDriver IO uh, will not be supported in future. So it's recommended not use sync mode anymore. So in this lecture will guide you how you can transform your WebDriver IO script from sync mode to non-sync mode. Okay. Or I will say async mode. So it's going to be lit, uh, very easy. Some points you need to keep in mind that anyways, I will tell you. Fine. So let's read the documentation, how we can do that. So if you are under the sync mode, then you don't need to do anything. Okay. This is what we did, right? But the moment you go with async mode, okay, you need to use one keyword called async. Okay. And then you have to use something called await. Again, a very important part here that if you decide to run in async mode, then all the web driver IO commands will return a promise and it need to be awaited to get the results. Okay. So pay attention that we have to use async keyword and await keyword. Fine. So let me show you how you can do that. So first let's use a sync. Just type a sync here. As you can see, since it's a keyword, it's getting highlighted. I will keep for all the three tests that we have written. Guys, again, if you're new to this uh, video, then I would highly recommend to, to watch the previous video where we have written everything from the scratch. Okay. So don't worry if you are new, after watching that video, you will have a clear understanding. Now I'm just adding few keywords. So all the tests now in async mode, as you can see, this is test is async this and this also. Now we have to use something called await. So you can see we have to use for each and every statement. So I will use await. Just type a w a i t. Since it's a keyword again, it's getting highlighted. So for browser, you don't have to do that. Okay. You just need to do for the statement. So you have to do for the expect for this expect as well. And now for this expect as well. And let's do for this as well. And it will fail. And I will tell you why. Okay. Let's keep on adding. So basically we added for each and every statement async await await. So this will pass. Okay. This will pass. But the moment it will come down to this statement, it is going to fail and I will tell you why. So let's run this. Okay. Uh, again, I will just use the previous command. Okay. So now it is on my second monitor. Yeah. So let me drag and drop. Okay. So the first test will run, second will run and the third one it failed. Okay. And let's understand why it is failing. So the moment you try to read this, see guys, now once you start, you always have to understand the errors. Okay. So first of all, uh, if I show you this part, so basically first test pass, second pass, third one failed. And now you can see it is failing here. It says set value is not a function, right? So basically it is failing here. Why? Let me show you the documentation first. So it says it's not a function and same thing you will get here. So the moment you do like this, okay, it will fail. This won't work. You can't chain function like this in order to work like this. Okay. Now you have to use two await. So basically this will return you one, uh, I will say object. Then you have to call this click method. Okay. So the moment you start using this in this fashion, which is exactly what we did. We used await, then we are finding, then we are calling. This will throw that this is not a function. This is exactly what we got here, right? So what is the solution? You have to use like first you have to use one await, which will return you web element. Then you have to perform click. Okay. And if you don't want to do in this fashion, then there's the shorthand for this. So let me show you for this one. Okay, so let me first comment this and let me 
keep this part so first I will write await okay this is actually our web element right so now let me store into a variable and I will say this is username okay now I have to perform so I will say username dot set value and I will just give admin and for this also I have to do await now it will work this is exactly what we did okay just go back first we are finding that web element using uh, we are using keyword called await it will return me that web element then I will say click and again I'm using await now if you don't want to write twice for each and every web element you can go ahead in this fashion okay so the first one I have showed you in this fashion for the second one let's write directly I will write something called await okay and just before the set value I will close this same thing here I will write await and let me close this clear so now this time it will run without any error so let me just remove this part this is not needed anymore so guys it's totally up to you okay because ultimately they both are doing the same thing here actually I'm storing into a variable then I'm calling here I'm not storing but I'm just calling this method okay okay now let me run again and this time you will see it will work it will not throw that it's not a function since we're using await it will work as it is so just keep two things in the mind that you have to use await and for each and every test you have to use async okay this is also async for browser related you don't have to use this the moment you use expect or some web element related commands yes you have to do it okay so it's running our test let it run and yeah so let's see first test second test and yeah it's running a third test it entered username password and yes it did yeah all three as uh, one spec file one passed and yeah all working fine so I hope you got the point so again please read this document okay it's very straightforward again if you don't use again you will be getting some errors here so please read out this document it's very easy anyways we have discussed this but yeah if you need more information about this uh, why it is getting replicated what is the future or how we are going to handle this right if you already have a lot of scripts then yes it is still in the discussion let's see how it goes but yeah this is how you can um, go with async mode and in case if you want to enable disable that we have already seen that if you want to enable then we need to add this dependency webdriver io sync so that is already added as part of our um, package.json okay so if it is added then yes you can use sync mode otherwise async mode so i hope it is clear now i hope you got something new and interesting i hope it helped you so in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel share with your friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye